Okay, so let's talk about uh, buoyancy. So according to Archimedes, uh, when a body is fully or partially submerged in a fluid, the fluid exerts an upward force. So that upward force is called as the buoyant force. No? So the fluid exerts uh, an upward force on the body equal to the weight of the fluid that is di- displaced by the body. Okay? So yun, yung upward force na yun, that is the buoyant force. So, ito yung parang general na presentation niya. No? So, bali, meron tayo ditong tatlong liquid. Then, meron tayo yung body na yan. So, ito yung body natin. So, na-displace yung body natin into uh, three liquids. No? We have the liquid A, liquid B, and liquid C. Okay? So, yung analysis lang ng nito, uh, sabi, si, sabi, ng, sabi ng Archimedes, yung, yung liquid mag exert yung upward force. So, merong buoyant force dito sa liquid A. Meron tayong buoyant force dito sa liquid B. And meron din tayong buoyant force dito sa liquid C. No? So, yung sheeted na yan, yan yung volume displaced by liquid A. And ito naman yung volume displaced by liquid B. Yung, yung sheeted with blue. And sheeted with uh, red orange. Uh, volume displaced by liquid C. Okay? So, yung analysis niya lang talaga is summation of forces with respect to y-axis equal 0. So, may kita natin na yung uh, weight total minus yung buoyant force A minus buoyant force B and buoyant force C equals 0. Or masabi natin na yung weight total is just buoyant force A plus buoyant force B plus buoyant force C. Or yung weight total is just equivalent ng summation ng buoyant force. Okay? So, uh, in simplicity, Yung weight is just equal to the buoyant force. So, yung weight, alam natin that is unit weight times the volume. So, pag yung weight mo is considering yung whole uh, body. So, unit weight ng body, volume ng body. And then, yung buoyant force, yun yung with respect to liquid. Na? So, kaya liquid then volume displace. Okay? So, equivalent lang daw yan. So, yun. No? So, solve to yung example para maintindihan natin yung buoyant force so a piece of metal uh, weight 350 newton in air and when it is submerged completely in water it weights 240 so bali uh, yung weight nung piece of metal ay sumito yung metal okay. so yung weight nito nung hindi pa siya nilagay sa tubig is 350 okay so ito yung original niya na weight talaga na? ito yung original weight niya kasi hindi pa natin nalagay, ng, nalagay sa tubig so bali weight in air and alam natin yung weight is uh, negligible no? and then nung nilagay na siya sa tubig so kung ito yung water natin Okay, so nung nilagay natin yung material na to, dinisplace natin to, nagbago yung weight, no? Lumiit siya. Yeah. And fully submerged. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung consider natin na volume niya, no? So, total volume lang gamitin natin. So, yung andito na siya, yung weight niya ngayon, in water, assume ko na lang na weight in air and weight and water is 240 newton okay so may kita mo dito na nagbago yung weight nag lessen di ba it dahil yan sa buoyant force no dahil yan sa buoyant force and kung ito yung total weight niya which is yung 350 then subtract natin nung nung buoyant force so yung net na weight niya is yun yung weight nung uh, metal in water okay so so bali uh, yung weight ng water di ba or ito na lang yung weight total na uh, air air pala yung gamit. weight of metal in air minus weight ng metal in water is equivalent ng buoyant force 
So, yung buoyant force yun sa ninon. Kaya naglisten siya. So, meron kang 350. Okay? Minus yung uh, 240. So, yung buoyant force pala natin is equal to So, alam natin na uh, yung tanong is volume ng metal. Okay? So, buoyant force is equivalent to unit weight ng liquid volume displaced. And since yung na-displaced is uh, whole uh, metal, so ibig sabihin, yung volume displaced na to is also equivalent to the volume of the metal. Okay? Okay, balance lang. So, pwede nating sabihin na yung buoyant force is just unit weight ng liquid volume ng metal. So, punta tayo dito. Copy ko na lang muna ito. And So, therefore, yung buoyant force is meron tayong 110 Newton And then, 9, 8, 10 Newton per cubic meter for unit weight ng water. Okay, so yung liquid natin is yun yung water. And then, yung volume of the metal. So, thus, yung volume ng metal is just equal to 110 all over 9810. And that is equal to 0.0112 cubic meter. And ito na yung sagot. Okay, so punta tayo sa B. So ito yung sa A. So punta tayo dito sa B. Ano do yung specific gravity ng metal? Okay? So alam natin yung specific gravity is unit weight ng substance all over unit weight ng water. Okay? So, since yung substance natin is metal, so, dapat dito is density ng metal all over yung unit weight ng water. Okay. So, paano natin isolve yung weight ng metal? So, yung weight ng metal It's just weight over yung volume. And lahat to sa metal. And yung original weight ng metal is yung hindi pa siya nakasubmerge sa water. No? Kasi yung pag nisinubmerge mo sa water, may buoyant force na mag -ake. So net yung makukuha mo na weight nun. So yung 350 yung gagamitin natin. So yung 350 all over yung volume ng metal na compute natin yan. That is 0.0112. So thus this is... 31250 newton per cubic meter or 31.25 kilo newton per cubic meter okay so yung tanong niya is specific gravity so pwede na tayo mag substitute na so lagay ko na yan so i have 31.25 all over 9.81 so therefore yung sagot is 3.25 19. So, baksa natin yan kasi yan na yung sagot. Okay, so ganun lang. Ha? Ganun lang yung buoyancy. I hope nakukuha nyo na yung buoyancy. And for C, uh, ano do yung specific weight ng metal? Ah, nakompute na natin. Ito yun eh. So, yung sagot doon is 31.5 25. Ito yan. So, kopyahin ko na lang na. So, ito na yung sagat. Okay. So,
that's it so continue to notice the next video thank you